maybe on a night out I would use a liner but it's just so easy to supply and you know when you do spend that extra bit of money on luxury products this is what you get no higger hagger easy to apply soft on the lip I actually like all the colors so far to be honest which is very unusual normally I'm like mm, not feeling that not feeling that throwing that away this is absolutely gorgeous lovely people welcome back to my channel so today is all about a haul from Giorgio Armani basically they sent me some of their Rouge Diamani matte lipsticks this is their new matte lipstick range and I'm just gonna be testing it out for you guys I'm more of a lip gloss girl more of a kind of sheer finish however I have been testing these and I'm currently loving them but before we get into that video if you're brand new to my channel why not hit the subscribe button I do videos on Tuesdays Wednesdays and Sundays and I'd love to have you here join the family why not are you still waiting to decide whether you should hit that subscribe button or you already have okay let's get into the video okay i have done my eyebrows and concealer just left a little bit of concealer hair i've primed my skin and i'm just taking the silk luminous foundation although i do feel like the shades are a little bit dark for me but let's just see yeah that is way too dark whoa mm, nah i do love this foundation this foundation is bomb However, that 11.5 is way too dark for me. So I'm just going to go in with my normal L'Oreal Perfect Match Foundation and then come right back. Okay, before any eyeshadow, we need to prime these bad boys. So I'm taking the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just putting this on the top of my eyelids and I'm just going to work that all in with a beauty blender. Okay, before we get on to the lipsticks, I've got these kind of liquid eyeshadows and create something nice for you. This is going to be a very interesting because I've never actually used a liquid eyeshadow, so yay. Okay, just to apply a base before we go anywhere in with that liquid eyeshadow, I am taking my Petite Heat Palette and I'm just going to go in with Strike. Now, Strike is a deep mahogany kind of brown eyeshadow and I'm just placing that on the top of my lid with my View Bell brush. What we're then going to do is take my Dulux Real Techniques crease brush and we're just going to blend that all in. We do not want the eyes to look stagnant, we want them to be very blended. That is kind of makeup one on one. If there's anything that you kind of learn from my channel is let's be blending guys. That really makes a difference to your eye shadow and also it just makes it last a little bit longer like when it's blended and not like stagnant i never used to blend before i just used to like put it on and go and i'll just be looking a hot mess okay that's kind of blended to my liking i'm just going to go on top with this color number 10 and that's just a rich mauve shimmery color but yeah like i said i've never used liquid eyeshadows before so this is going to be like a real test to also point out it is like a creamy texture and then it kind of dries really matte what I kind of love about this is the applicator. The applicator is so easy to use, like it's so easy to apply and it's very soft on the eyes. I sometimes find sometimes when you do use the applicator, it's like really drying to the eyes and you're like, uh, uh. it's all higa haga. We don't want no higa haga. So that's really cute. I'm also going to then take this color, which is eight. And I'm just going to place that in the tear duct area to like brighten up the eye. It's all well and good, but my eyes are looking a little bit too dark for me. So I'm just going to take my accent brush from Real Techniques and go in with Heist, which is a kind of like burnt orange from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to put that on my lash line. Just going to buff that all out with my Real Techniques Dulux Crease Brush. Okay, so this is the Eyes Secured Lacquered Eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to do a kind of slick eyeliner look. Not going to lie, guys, that liquid eyeliner is a bomb. It is so easy to apply. It is so slick. Literally, it's like slick. Slicker than your average, literally. I've done my mascara as well. So let's get into the fun part, the lipsticks. So I'm literally going to swatch the lipsticks for you and then apply them. So this is their shade 500, which is a kind of like pink nude shade. Oh my God, their lipsticks are so creamy. Oh, 
I always hate doing a lipstick swatch for you guys because afterwards my lips are on fire, but this is really creamy. Okay, come through shade 500. Mmm, interesting. It is a kind of very rich pink nude. I don't know if it's because I've got Vaseline on my lips, but it's not as mattifying as I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be very stiff, but it's very creamy. Okay, I thought by now maybe it would have mattified a little bit. Okay, let me just take off the Vaseline while applying the next one and then we'll see. Okay, the next one is 403. That one seems a little bit more matte and it is a red. You know guys, I am a red type of girl. So yeah, let's go in with 403. Okay, 403 is a really nice. I will say that the lipstick feels very soft on the lip. It is a matte lipstick. It is a matte lipstick. I think because I had Vaseline on, it was coming off a little bit shiny. It is a matte, but it's workable. So if you want to put a primer on before, it can just to shine it up a little bit. Obviously, I know the purpose is to be matte. But I kind of like a little bit of primer before but also to add it's very moisturizing like it feels very soft on the lip it's not rigid you know sometimes i don't know like mac ruby woo which is like a matte lipstick is like hard on your lips this is not this is very comforting this is very moisturizing yeah i'm starting to like this lipstick because i don't really like matte lipsticks because i find them very dry on the lip but this is none of that okay next one is 201 i'm confused are they meant to have colors like am i just being silly and i'm gonna have to like check online and find out if they actually have names or it's just 201 um yeah that's kind of more of a deep red And that's 201. I kind of like the application to be honest. Like it's so easy to apply. Don't need a liner. Maybe on a night out I would use a liner, but it's just so easy to apply. And you know, when you do spend that extra bit of money on luxury products, this is what you get. No higger hagger, easy to apply, soft on the lip. Okay, the next one is 600, and this is more of a deep plum running out of space on my hand. I actually like all the colours so far to be honest, which is very unusual. Normally I'm like, mm, not feeling there, not feeling there, throwing that away. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous and it has a little bit of a pearlescent tone to it. I love this. I think when I finish all my makeup looks, I'm gonna use this as the final look. This is lovely, 600. Okay, next shade is 400, which is a kind of like deep red. Take that back, it's not a deep red, it's more of a bright orange undertone red. This is really cute. I still prefer this shade of red and the darker shade of red, to be honest, but it's still something to have. Lastly, we're taking 502, Ooh, which is a kind of like deep pink. I do feel like this shade is a little bit too pink for me, but I don't really hate it to be honest. But yeah, testing out these lipstick was quite fun for me, guys. I love that it's quite magnetic, so you know, it's not going to come off in your bag, it's not going to cause spillage. But overall, I kind of really enjoy testing these products for you guys. What do you think? What are your favourite shades? Leave a comment in the comment below. But yeah, I think this is going to be my new favourite go-to lipstick. I love that it's very soft and yet still matte on the lip. I haven't really found a lipstick to do that in a long time so i'm very excited to include these now in my makeup bag but that's all guys if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up if you think anyone could benefit from this video i'll be happy to share this video why not share it as always you can follow me on my social media platforms i'll leave the links down below i'll also leave the links down below of where you can buy all these items from but i guess I'll see you in another video and remember to always stay what bougie